Hello beautiful souls. If you've aligned with this video, you've chosen to trust your heart. You've chosen to surrender. I'm hearing you've chosen the path of surrender. But this is very challenging, because I do feel that many around you don't understand some of the choices that you're making at this time. This could cause you to question yourself or to feel very alone. We also have deep cellular healing. I feel that at deep unconscious levels within this particular masculine, there is a shift taking place that my guides are actually referring to here as a healing. So, let's use this as a little bit of a jumping off point for the reading here. By the way, if you are resonating with my energy already, I do invite you to subscribe to the channel. Join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. I do say this quite often in videos. But truly, by being present here and now, whatever the now is for you, whatever timeline you're on, actually is actively co-creating the reading as it is being channeled here. I'm starting now with the traditional tarot, circling back to this deep cellular healing card that I feel connecting with the masculine energy coming through here very strongly. Okay, so I feel that this particular masculine does certain things. I'm hearing acts out acts out when they are feeling in vulnerability, when they have a sense of self-doubt. It's almost like they turn to something to boost their sense of confidence in themselves that might actually cause the divine feminine here some kind of pain or be a detriment to the feminine. I feel like this is. I'm hearing unconscious, reaching for something to fill a void. So, for a masculine, I'm canneling here. It may be that, by the way, Whatever this is, this is something that you, Divine Feminine, are consciously aware of, or your intuition has been very much aware of with the High Priestess inner gene. I feel like what this masculine truly desires in his heart is to become the Emperor that can match your High Priestess energy. Because here we have the High Priestess, the Ten of Cups, a massive card of stability. This can even be a card of marriage. Two people coming together in a harmonious, very long-term, consistent, stable relationship. And then the emperor representing what this masculine wants to become. And the potential to become that emperor is within him. Which is why you, Divine Feminine, can sense this potential. However, with the strength card reversed sitting on the sacral chakra, I feel as though the masculine here in human form is. The word inadequate is coming out here like feeling inadequate. Even though you, Divine Feminine, are able to fully see this masculine's true potential, you can see him in his Emperor energy, and you even get flashes and glimpses of that. Really, what is his true self, his innermost self? But simultaneously, it seems as though in the past, or possibly in the present for some of you, this particular masculine has acted in ways that were almost like coping mechanisms to build an artificial sense of self-confidence because of a feeling of being inadequate, of not being able to match your energy. I'm hearing you being too good for him. From Divine Muscular. Tight, yes, if you believe.